Okay, guys, good to see you and to be here. And uh, and Matthew, once again, thank you for being my 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 co-host and and uh, buddy on the couch. And literally on the couch, you're sitting on a couch, so you know, it makes sense. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> yeah, thanks for helping us remember all these things because all minds forget. So yeah. it's nice to remember. <laughs> And Tom and Jim, of course, uh, uh, film historians, actors, writers, and have the craziest stories ever, uh, pretty much, that I can recount. Like, every single one of your stories is, like, the craziest story you would ever hear from one other person, or any other right. person. Like, and it's just every day. So, um, I wanted to ask you about this, because I know there's a couple of stories that I, I've heard, and you probably have even more. Um, and I don't, Matthew, I, sorry for blindsiding you with this, uh, if you don't know it. There's a little film out there, which is one of my favorite films ever made. So I wanted to ask you about it. And when I say that, there are great films like, um, you know, The Wizard of Oz or Casablanca, which are, you know, some of the greatest films ever made. And then there's a different category of the greatest films ever made, because you look at it and you go, why was this made? And this definitely fits in the second category, but I, I want to ask you about a little gem of a picture called Robot Monster. So, Robot Monster um, is the most nonsensical film I think I've ever seen, and I love it. I love it. So, for those of you out there who haven't seen it, pause this, go watch Robot Monster, and then come back, because you will you will be very grateful for having seen this. It's a um, it's a film, an old black and white film from the 50s about uh, this, it's not, he's, he's not a robot, and he's not really a monster, he's a, he's like a, he's a gorilla in a space suit, hel but only a helmet, like it's a gorilla with a helmet, and he lives in this cave, and he's just kind of talking to people on his, like, view screen, that's all he really does, and then he has this giant bubble machine. And that's the movie. Like, this is an amazing thing. So anyway, I will stop talking about this, because, but it is brilliant. Um, the poster has a dinosaur on it. And I remember when I was talking to you guys, uh, I was like, there's a dinosaur on the poster, but I don't think there's a dinosaur in the movie, which would have been even funnier. And then it turns out there is a dinosaur in the movie. I just forgot or something. Um, at the end of the movie, there's a freaking dinosaur. This movie is amazing. Anyway. Guys, Robot Monster, what do you know? What can you tell us? <laughs> the, di the dinosaur came from stock footage. When Jim and I were living in L.A. pursuing that crazy business of acting, not really crazy, but uh, great business of acting, this crazy for us, uh, we lived on Bronson Avenue, uh, Count Moss Kitty Corner from Paramount Studio. But if you, got out, if you got out and you walked all the way up Bronson Avenue up toward the hills, you came to Bronson Canyon. Bronson Canyon. And that's where Robot Monster was filmed. A lot of movies. Uh, many movies were filmed there. I mean, it, it's Jim and I have fun watching these old movies because we say, okay, that's Bronson Canyon. Okay, that's Vasquez Rocks. That's the Alabamas and Lone Pine. You know, it, it's fun picking out the locations. There's Canab. There's Fort Apache from Rinton Tin using all kinds of movies. Uh, so anyway, uh, locations are fun. So Bronson Canyon's right. We lived right down the road from Bronson Canyon. Uh, and George Barrow to the guy who played the Robot Monster, and he he made his own. A gorilla costume, which he got parts in different movies as gorillas. Yeah, he played Goliath the gorilla and Gorilla Large, and so he made quite a bit of money on the side. You know, he, he started out doing extra work and uh, Robin Hood with Errol Flynn and, and that, things like that. And then he got a custard one. Yeah, they died with their boots on with Errol Flynn. Several people got killed. And he was doing stunts by then. He did back that's back in the days when you tripped the horses and the horses got killed. And uh, but yeah, he so he went from uh, extra work to stunt work to small acting work to better supporting you know feature feature parts not really big parts but feature parts and then his gorilla uh and uh after after uh you know a while after we saw him sometime maybe a year or so after we saw him someone else came up to his house and wanted to talk about robot monster. wanted to talk about robot monster and so he invited him in and the guy stabbed him stabbed and robbed him didn't kill him didn't kill him but he uh but uh, yeah, another, another actor told us about that. Yeah, George, George, George's father was a Broadway actor, singer who later came out to Hollywood and did films. And his mother was a ballerina, uh, so it's been there. It's in his family. And he said he, but he never really pushed it hard enough. His father told him, 
give him advice what to do here and there. He he, he got under contract at a studio, uh, and they were going to try and make him a, a bigger name, but things didn't work out. But he but he had a good career. He's happy with it. And but his gorilla, the robot monster, um, it was. So he didn't say much about it. He didn't say much about it. So, but he said it was a it was a poor movie. <laughs> uh, he also wait. You mean in quality or in budget? That's him here. That's oh him. yeah, there he is. What a uh, he, uh, well, Okay, what did he say? Uh, you talk while I look at what he said. Exactly. Well, what he said. Oh wait, who talked? You want us to talk? So oh, did you know, it's insane. <laughs> I didn't hear the last thing you said, but oh, don't worry about it. Just talk. <laughs> so, so okay, Jim. I'll ask you since while he's looking at us. So, so this he built his he built a gorilla costume. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, that was... got him a whole different sideline of work in the entertainment. Right. Was he yeah. would travel with his gorilla costume, have gorilla costume, will work basically. Right. Yeah. And, yeah. He, yeah. <laughs> He, he did a lot of thing in the Beverly Hillbilly TV shows and movies. Uh, all he says about uh, um, Roma using his gorilla outfit along with the space helmet. George also played the title role in the Robot Monster, which he said was a pretty bad show, but has become a cult favorite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, wait, he built the space helmet too? I don't know, but I don't know if he built the space. But but he got the idea of the gorilla thing from uh, he was working on some show. And he saw people at Warner Brothers making a gorilla oh. costume for something. And he thought I could do a better job of that. So he he, he put a lot. Of, he, he he had a good gorilla costume. Uh, oh, he he. And back in the days when he used to double, he doubled Tarzan, Johnny Wise Miller's Tarzan, and all that stuff. Uh, wow. But he uh, he had a long career. But uh, unfortunately, he didn't say a whole lot of role about role monster. You probably know more about it than we do, except for <laughs> it was down, down the road from where we lived. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. George so Nader, George Nader, the star, uh, he ended. He was a universal. Became a universal contract player and had starring parts in films and had his own TV series. Claudia Barrett, the actress, she's she did other work. Uh, I met her once, but I never. I didn't know at the time she was in Robot Monster, so I didn't ask her about it. Um, <laughs> it didn't come up, huh? <laughs> she wasn't one of the ones we interviewed. I just I just met her at one of those conventions, like. Talking to Scott Wilson, or I went when, when I went and talked to Kevin Sorbo at one of the Comic Con. Jeff said he looked around. Where's Tom? Oh, he's over there talking to Kevin Sorbo. I, I don't hanging know out with Tom, Kevin Sorbo. Tom and Kevin Sorbo are just hanging out the whole convention, just talking. Convention. Yeah, I remember that. To a show on the conventions, just having having Tom and a room full of props, like two acres of props, and oh, unbelievable! The conventions were amazing. Yeah, we had fun I, doing them out there. We had fun I think together. That, I mean, when you mention the problem, the idea of Barrows making his own gorilla costume and using it as a side gig to get into all these other things is exactly what Matthew would do, by the way. <laughs> that is, I, I hear that and I'm like, where's your gorilla costume? <laughs> I'll be <honest> Yeah. <laughs> I guess the, the next show, it's like, I think Matthew, oh, yeah, good. He's in a. <laughs> didn't really cost him. <laughs> that would not surprise me. It's something I, he would totally do. Like, oh, I would get more parts if I own my own gorilla costume. So I better cut on that. It's just, yeah. Um, what a character. Uh, and uh, no, I, 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 I remember a few months ago, without tooting my own horn, saying, <laughs> uh, I get to be. I get. I today. I got paid. To watch Robot Monster, like the <laughs> moment when that hit my life, and I said, "I just got paid <laughs> to watch Robot Monster," was the greatest thing in my life. Like it's the simple thing of, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So anyway, thank you for that that story and and for the recollection of the cast of that. Uh, yeah, that's it, what a goofy, ridiculous, fun movie that film is. Yeah, it's yeah. great. It's, it's, it's so bad it's fun. You know, it, it's, there's some of those movies out there that are so bad, they're bad, they're not fun. They're so boring. Ro Robot Monster was fun. It's fun. It's yeah. fun. It's watching it again and again. Uh, yeah. And it's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and knowing so, the guy makes it more fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you told me that, uh, I'll panic, because I remember I mentioned Robot Monster, and you're like, oh, yeah, we need the guy who played the Robot Monster. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, well, of course you did.